uh, hello guys welcome back to my next video so now i'm going to solve uh, question number two of lead code weekly contest count days without meetings okay so in this problem you are given a positive integer days representing the total number of days an employee is available for work starting from day one and you are also given a 2d array meetings of size n where meeting size is representing nothing but what this is a starting point and this is an ending point of one meeting okay and all these things are inclusive okay okay we have to return the count of the days when the employee is available for work but no meetings are scheduled right so the meetings may overlap okay so here uh, first thing is that uh, so if you see the constants of this problem now so constants of this problem is very large okay so we can't use that normal approach okay so in basic normal approach what you guys can do uh, there are total 10 days now and these are the meetings scheduled okay so first i am going to write all 10 days 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 and then after that i am going to run one boolean array and in this boolean array for 5 to 7 i am just going to mark as false 5 to 7 i am going to mark as false and then from 1 to 3 i can mark as false 1 to 3 this is false this is false okay this is false and then from 9 to 10 i can mark as a uh, false this is false and this is false okay so only these two um, days are true right and this is going to my output but this is my basic approach approach one okay the, the approach that beginners are going to use but the constraints for this problem is very large that is why this problem is of medium level okay so now let's see how we are going to solve this problem okay so let me uh, remove all this okay so now first uh, what i'm going to do here these are the meetings now so i am going to sort these meetings based on their starting time okay so first i'm going to set this meeting one to three then five to seven and then nine to ten okay so based on their starting time i have sorted the meetings okay so once this is done then after that i am going to check uh what is the free time that i'm go going to get okay starting from here so one to three uh for first three days there is no free time okay so right now there is no free time zero then from uh, then my next meeting starts from five to seven now okay so i'm going to get the free times in between so how i'm going to calculate the free time so five minus three minus one is equal to nothing but one okay so that simply means that this fourth day is free now okay so this is the one day that i have uh, got now okay and then this meeting end at seven okay this is done then this meeting starts at nine okay so 9 minus 7 minus 1 is equal to 1 okay there is one free day between uh, these two meetings okay one free day here so in total how many free days that i'm getting two okay and this two is going to be my output okay so now let's move to the solution part so first i am sorting my arrays okay meetings array a and b based on their starting time and then this is free days and last end okay then i am going to run one loop okay this loop okay and in between i am checking the start and end okay so if my start is greater than last end plus one then i am checking the free days in between what are the free days okay and also i am operating my last end as maximum of last end and end okay if there are two meetings which are uh, overlapping okay that is why i am writing this and in the end i am just going to calculate the number of free days that i am going to get and in the end i am returning free days okay so this is the solution for question number two okay and if you guys need the solution for uh, question number three of date code weekly contest then please subscribe my youtube channel quickly okay uh, okay so now meet you guys in the next video okay but please don't forget to subscribe my youtube channel like this video thank you